Closing the distance, obviously, massively important in a fight like this. 6'5 versus 5'11. And there's that age difference again that, Randy, I know you love us highlighting. 39 yeah. and 31. But again, it's, you know, two guys with almost the same number of fights despite that eight-year age gap. It's so funny because, yeah, you mentioned Lewis has got more uh, uh, submission victories, but I know it because of his striking. That's yeah. how devastating power he has. It'll be interesting to see how he approaches a six-foot-five-inch opponent. Now, he's wrestled at Eastern Illinois University. He's got a, a wrestling pedigree as well. He can use that to his advantage, get under the taller man and put him on the ground. And he talked about, in that piece you saw, he talked about his willingness to expose himself to risk, to get in here and get six points for the standing. He's we correct. The, the, the fear of failing holds a lot of very, very talented fighters back. Joe Martinez will get us started. Well, five fans, we are set to go with the next bout tonight. Three rounds, this in the PFL middleweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, his background, jiu-jitsu. At six feet, five inches tall, he weighed it officially 185 and one half pounds. In 12 professional bouts, he brings an outstanding record, standing at 11 victories. And one defeat, fighting out of Santa Catarina, Brazil, here is Anderson. Big balls, go! And across the cage stands his opponent fighting out of the red corner. His background in wrestling and boxing. At 5 feet 11 inches tall, he weighed in at the middleweight limit, 186 pounds. His professional record, 14 victories, 4 defeats. Fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, here is Lewis and Gus Taylor! Your referee in charge of the action, once again, Mario Yamasaki. Mario Yamasaki in to officiate this one. Look for uh, guillotine attempts from Lewis Taylor. He's Shit. three of his last four wins have come via guillotine, gentlemen. He's going to need I, a step ladder to get up on his <laughs> neck. You you ready? Ready? The seven submission, six oh. guillotines. It's, it's the striker's <laughs> submission. That's what I always say because they always try to take you down and stick the head in, so you get really good at a guillotine. And this is the puzzle that you have to solve. How do you close distance on a guy with long arms like this, six foot five, knows how to use the reach? Walk forward. <laughs> El Guapo knows. But you see on the balls of his feet how light he is? He st keeps that distance in between because he knows how important it is. Ooh, he tagged him already there. A really short little one. Did he tag him or did he slip? I, it was hard I to tell. I think on the tip of his chin. Tell you what, Lewis Taylor is not a small man. No. He looks significantly shorter <laughs> inside that cage. Anderson Gonzalez has for foreboding presence. But he's in position right now to take that height away if he can get to finish on this takedown. Because everybody's the same height when you're on the ground. Plus on the ground, having long arms and long legs works against you when you're on your back. But especially, but also, you know, it's easier to submit long legs. It is from the closed guard, but it's, I remember having Cody McKenzie on my back, and that was miserable because those legs were so long. Just I kept peeling them off, and it's like, do these things ever end? And that body lock's so much easier for those long-limbed guys to grab. Oh, yeah. Gonzalez in the black shorts, Taylor in the red. Nice leg kick there. Yep. Taylor's closing the distance well and not getting hit on his way in. And do a good way also throw to the body, see his reaction. As he moves his head backwards, as he keep his head there, but just moves his body backwards. There are big differences. Was that just an inside trip fake? Little inside kick, I, I think. And he followed it to get inside. He didn't, didn't, wasn't able to stay inside. That's a scary one, that front kick coming up the middle. And to the chin, rather than to the belly. Ooh, nice right low kick. Yeah, like can solve this. Deliver with the Stiff chin. jab, though, landed by Taylor there. Now, he's taking that, he's taking that range away. Again, he's, he's, with that, getting, he's getting that right to the range kick. where he can fight from. And those are the ones that hurt. They don't make a lot of sound. They don't slap. They exactly. dig in. And it's three in a row now. So the thud is worse than the slap on those leg kicks. And they do add up really quick. 
that's going to affect his ability to close the distance if he continues to pick away at that lead leg of, of Lewis Taylor. Gonsalves, interestingly, just picking large kicks is his striking attack. He's not putting together any combinations right now. He's just throwing big kick after big kick, whether it's an attempted high kick or those leg kicks to chop him down. That's the primary attack right now from Anderson Gonsalves. Brings a right hand that's blocked. Yeah, he, like he, he waited till he was landing and then he gave the right hand. Inside leg kick. He's beating up that lead leg of Taylor. He's definitely testing the range of Lewis Taylor. It's all this is doing a nice job of picking his shots, not being overly aggressive, using that range. Ooh, ooh, nice inside of Lewis Taylor. Yep. And I like how he went from wrestling back to striking immediately. You're defending the takedown and the move in your face. A little jumping attack, and then when he landed, Taylor throws the overhand right and landed on Anderson Gonzalez. Body shot, switches it up to come over the top. That left hook lands. Yeah, he can outside single attempt by Lewis Taylor, but Thomas does a nice job of changing the angle. Taylor can load it up a little bit more, I think, his left hook. The knees come in. That's one thing with the taller guy in the clinch. You gotta watch those knees. It's easy for a big guy to bring those knees straight up. Some success now as Taylor closes the distance. Maybe a little more recklessly, Randy, but he's getting inside. He's still eating those leg kicks, though, and those things add up really quick. When, when we see him switch leads because of it, he's really gonna start to slow down. He's gonna be a big disadvantage. Watch the knee. Oh, that knee was coming. Taylor did a nice job of getting out of there. That was smart. But that's what I'm saying. He's got that power. Ooh, they both that, land the left hook. Yeah, that little left hook of Gonsalves that, that turned Taylor's whole body. Boss, I don't know what I'm more impressed by. The fact that Taylor landed all four or that Anderson shrugged them all off. Yeah, that's true, too. Do you know what I, with Tyson always, Tyson threw such a short hook, he almost hit the back of the head from his opponents, and he was always the shortest guy. Right. So that's what Taylor needs to do, what he just did, so beat on him and start throwing from there because he was very successful with it. Yeah, he was. Tell you what, the second half of round number one, packed with action here. Taylor able to land some significant strikes. Anderson Gonsalves beat up that lead leg, though, and here it is, Randy, just chopping it down, Gonsalves over and over. Able to land those. There's the little flurry in the pocket. Lewis Taylor sitting right in there. Landed four good shots in a row. A couple oh. of misses, but a couple of really nice, good hooks in there. You know, it's the beard that softens the punch. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they said with Kimbo. They said th he needed to, because. Oh, I there's a nice Lewis Taylor right hook right on the jaw of Gonzalez. Worth mentioning, gentlemen, that the last four outings for Anderson Gonzalez have been first round finishes in his favor. So he hasn't been to the second round in three years. So he might be tired now. Is that what you're saying, Sean? He might he may get tired well, in this round. It's just a little bit different, right? When you it's haven't, definitely. You yeah. haven't been into the second round for a while and somebody pushes you there. Second and round, right. Especially mentally Ready? also. Let's do this, come on. It does something to you. Taylor you saved that high, that high five for the third round, man. You don't you don't do that in the middle of the fight. That's a final round game. Taylor comes out again, swinging, trying to close the distance. Maybe he's giving him some props for making it to the second round. Interesting book, book, book work by Taylor. That is the eighth leg kick landed, and there's number nine from Anderson Gonsalves on Taylor's lead leg. Too late, he's out. He's getting out. The oh, snow no, no, no. 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 Get, him back in. Get on your left hip, Taylor, is what he needs to do to finish this. Lewis Taylor squeezing, trying to keep Anderson Gonsalves. See, by, by, by not putting that right leg over, he's making Taylor, lo he's making Gonsalves longer. Gonsalves is out now. Gonsalves has Taylor's back. 
Some submission victories for himself. Oh, and that's Donnie. Mount. Here comes that. Four Mount, too. Doesn't get much worse than this, John. Look at that legs around you. And with almost four minutes left, it could be a long second round for Lewis Taylor. Well, there's a lot of space for backdoor escapes if he wants, but he does it the wrong way now. But this is also where, where those long legs come from. Huh? Take advantage of what he's on. Oh, nice job by Taylor. Scraping it back to top. Put Gonzalez on his, on his butt. Taylor recognizing that even though Gonzalez got onto his back there, maybe he's still a little bit hurt and he's aggressive. Not a good situation. Trip, that was interesting. How are we going to get control here? Right hands, got his right hands right away. Taylor's right away. Against the fence with full mount now is Gonzalez. And what you can do with this is the arm track as well. Let's it go. You can't let the, the longer guy settle in. When he settles in, that's when he can use that, that length to his advantage. When you keep him in a scramble, that's when you're going to be able to find those holes to escape. We saw Lewis Taylor get out of a bad spot just 30 seconds ago. See if he can do it again here, halfway through round number two. Yeah, plus you're escaping, you're keeping him busy. He stops striking. Gonzalez with the figure four body lock, but he is very, very high boss, as you mentioned before. Now it's going to be harder to turn into it because you got the bottom of the track. He should take their weight over to that left hip. So that all the pressure's on that left foot and that ankle, and that's gonna make, possibly make Gonzalez open it up, but he's so long, there may not be enough tension. Interesting that Gonzalez is going more for the strikes on the back here. I guess uh, hoping for an opening to grab a rear naked choke or something like that. It, it's hard to get power on strikes like this. But because of his length, look how tall and how low Taylor is in his chest. It's hard to choke a guy when his head's down that low. Right. Yeah, it's like trying to choke something. With the wrong angle. angle, it's a bad <laughs> angle, yeah. I feel like he'd almost be better off letting go of the figure four body lock and sliding down hip to hip. Yeah. And, and binding in from there and finding a way to get, get to that neck. You give me a verbal telestrator if you can. How do you, how do you get out of this figure four body lock with a guy this long on your back? Well, what Taylor needs to do is he needs to clear his left leg right now. He needs to get that out from underneath. Just exactly. like that. Just like that. Now get that to the floor and get Gonzalez's leg between here so he can at least work on escaping that one side. This is an option also, but Gonzalez is so long, I don't believe that he's going to be able to put pressure on, on the lock there. And this is where you do not want to be. You do not want to be belly down with that figure four body lock on you. It can get really miserable. Tough to breathe without going across your body frame and your stomach. Thankfully, he's got more legs. It's not as much as one would be very good. And this is when it's, those legs really, really pay, pay dividends for Gonzalez because it's harder to get the long-legged guy. I think Gonzalez got Taylor top for a second there. Do you see when he, he slipped back his hand? Yeah, yeah. He just, just pushed the elbow up. Nice job. Yeah, the angle. So Six Gonzalez seconds. kind of glanced up at the official like, did you see that? Yeah. Lewis Taylor rides it out in round number two. Ah! Here's Taylor landing a big punch and What's dropping it? Anderson Gonzalez. That left hook knocked him off his feet. Goes here. for the guillotine. He jumps into that guillotine, and right here is where he's running into some problems with that knee being inside the gap. But he clears that knee, and then he leaves that, that, that foot on the top, I mean, on the inside. And when Gonzalez gets to his back, puts those hooks in immediately. And that's trouble. Lewis Taylor was able to get out of this position, but he finished the round basically right here with Anderson Gonzalez in a body lock all over his back, threatening chokes. Gentlemen, how do you judge that round? You're gonna see the look here by Gonzalez. Oh, we missed it. But I, I think I have it two rounds for Gonzalez. Uh, I think 
Even though he got set on his butt in that second round, he came back strong, had his back twice, had him in a lot of a danger and a lot of trouble. Yeah. After getting dropped, Anderson Gonsalves is able to reverse position, stay in a dominant spot for three minutes and Everybody 15 ready? seconds of that round. He outlanded Taylor 19 to three in the ground strikes. And of course, the submission attempt from Taylor was thwarted, as were all the submission attempts from Gonsalves. So an interesting round number two as we start number three here at PFL 2, excuse me, PFL 3 in Washington, D.C. And he's looking for that leg kick early. Oh, caught him coming in with a little left hook. Nice job by Gonzalez to time that. Nice knee there to the body. He's landing a lot of check techniques, that check left hook, and even that, that knee was kind of a check knee, just to get his hands. I don't know if anybody noticed, but when the bell rang, Gonsalves just rolled over and sat on his butt on the canvas. He did not stand up, which indicates to me he might be a little tired here. There may be some fatigue. Gonsalves, you talk about how long it's been since he got to the Martinez will make it happen Ladies inside and the end comes officially 58 seconds round number three you're winner by TKO victory tonight he picks up four points Lewis hey. 